Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. As I share your word, use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people and as you bless them, do not pass me by. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O King of Kings. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet. That as I minister, I shall minister under the protection of your uh, presence, O God. Surrounded by your blood that speaketh better things. Against any attacks that bring confusion, distraction, and wastage of time. I cover this media platform with the blood of Jesus, even for my viewers and my listeners as they purpose to reason and watch. This word will benefit them and even others they will share with. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program. Celebrating a moment with joy and broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. And this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is tweeted in Seattle, Washington. The title of my message today will be The Hope of the Glory of God. Moses was so much blessed and overwhelmed at the same time by the presence of God. The glory of God shone around him in the burning bush. But today, my verses of reference will be from Romans 5, verse 2 to 5. And this is a scripture that was reminded as we were going through our series that we are covering in church, Rooted. Um, in our Bible study as we are going through it and the Spirit of God kept my spirit there. Oh, I was feeling this is part of what uh, God you have called us for. The hope of the glory of God. And it is always good to know what is the definition of hope. And I checked on from the, uh, among the many meanings in the dictionary that hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. It is a feeling of trust, hoping that something positive will come out. You hope for something you have not seen but you are expectant. Like that mother who is expecting a baby prepares well and eats well and dresses well and talks well for the sake of the baby there is something we expect at we, as we trust god that at the second coming that when we are transformed from this body we shall behold the beauty of god and we shall be given the crown of glory let me read the verses so i don't get uh, kind of so fired up and get out of uh, point it says through whom i actually let me start one so that it will make a lot of sense Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have access by faith into the, this grace in which we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint Amen. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Hoping for something. We, are, we have the hope of the glory of God. In my mother tongue, it says, We shall see when that day comes with our own eyes. We may not see the fruits light now, but we are hopeful. A mother always hoped to behold the baby. My brother and my sister, our trust in the Lord is something that has been put in us because of faith. And faith is the evidence of that thing that, that is not seen but hoped for. We hope for something we have not seen by faith. I always like to say that faith is like a hand that receives from God. If you have faith, you'll receive many things from the Lord. And what we see is not of faith. So we can behold the, the hope of the glory of God as we hope. 
every day. And now we continue to see, I write this one. Oh my goodness. We also grow in tribulations. That doesn't sound normal in the humanity or the reality. And many times I always like to say, reality is parallel to faith. They'll never meet. How can you grow the seriously in tribulation? You know, as you mature up in the word of God, you will say, let those problems come because you know after it. I know as I continue to grow in faith, there are times that I, I, I will see things happening which are discouraging and I will cry and later on I will, I will complain. Later on after I've gone through it and then I see what God wanted me to see, I look back and I say, Lily Florence, you really acted there in a foolish way. But then I encourage myself and say, I am a child of God and children never mature before their parents. Children will mess up. Children can even take a knife or a razor blade and cut themselves not knowing that it's going to mess them up. And the mother will come and bandage them. So my brother and my sister in this journey as we are children of God, there are many things we do not even get the character of perseverance until we have gone through it many times and many times. And I have reached this point that I see things and, uh, and I don't say all the time. And some things I hear and I say, wow, God, you gave me the ears to hear. You gave that person the mouth to speak and the strength to me, you know, and the, uh, the strength to speak that, and you knew this was coming to me. Thank you, God. And other times I shake, I feel shaken. I get stressed because I hear this thing and I say, really? And so I have run when I see something or I hear so much discouraging reports, which I will continue to get anyway. Sometimes I keep quiet. It's like, you know, cooling under pressure and later on God will give me a word. Few days, oh, not long ago, I, I went through a situation and it was a little stressful. And inside me I felt, hmm, honestly. At some point I cried, not once. And later on, God reminded me or challenged me. How much time have you taken to pray for that situation or for that person? There you are. Character was built in me. And I kind of, even though it came as a discouragement to me, the character was built. Knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. I persevered. I, I felt the ache inside me and my flesh was overtaken and I shed tears. But later on, God built the hope. God continued. This is the good thing in the journey. The Spirit of God who guides and teaches all things, who bring to remembrance of things we have learned. And so as I was doing the study for this week, for this week before we met last night, this word stuck in me. And so I want to encourage you. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you might have gone through. But as you quiet in your spirit, as times come by, you'll see, even though you acted like a child, just like I did in that situation, because we are children of God and don't feel guilty. You mature and now next time such a things happen, it will just pass by and you'll say glory to God. Like a singer who sang and said, glory to God, he lifted me up, he lifted me up, I know. He stretched out his eyes and lifted me up and that's why I love him so I will love him more and more. I will love him more and more. And when one day I did the other show, I will love him more and more. We can say glory to God. He lifted me up. He stretched out his hand.
God and lifted me up. That's what happened. My brother, my sister, a situation of being raw will happen. Don't be put down by guilt. Why did I cry as a pastor? Why did I cry as a mother? Why did I cry as a father? Why did I cry as a servant of God? Why did I cry as a supervisor? Because they also do. Don't be cheated by anybody. We all have our stormy times and we get out of the storm. My brother, my sister, when that time comes, try to remember after you have come through it and perseverance has built your character. See what God has done and you'll be able to see the hope of the glory of God. It is my prayer that you be encouraged in that situation. And if you felt wrong, maybe you talked in your anger. God is a God of a second chance. And if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. But if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. By the way, that is First John 1, 8, 9. So my brother, be a person who is so surrendered to the presence of God and the Spirit of God will always teach you things. May the Lord bless you and remember the hope of the glory of God will keep you going and build character in you through situation that you may be going through and you don't desire because they are negative. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I have given your word. Let your Holy Spirit water it to bring forth the fruit upon the hearers and the viewers in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You are there, you have never trusted the Lord and maybe you have already said, if salvation is for this, this and this, the way I see, don't go by that. Go by what the Bible says because God treats us as individuals. Even if it was only for your sake, Christ would still have come for you. If you're in that category, you have never trusted the Lord because you've been giving yourself reasons that don't hold water. It is my privilege to welcome you to say this prayer after me by will. Father God, I come before you. I repent of my sins, of many reasons I have had and my timing of not trusting you. I surrender my life to you. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. I want to encourage you. One of the ways to grow is to be involved in a fellowship of believers. First and foremost, look for a church nearby where you live that you can call a home. A home that you can feed. A home that you can dress spiritually. A home that you can be challenged. A home that you can be Oh, rebuked and corrected because this is like a, it's a package. You can't do without rebukes. You can't do without correction and also encouragement, my brother, my sister. And the Lord will bless you. And you realize how much God has for you. When you go there, do not always want to hear, 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 and you don't even share. It, it, this the, the growth we have is about giving and receiving and I've covered that also in the book of fear not God is in charge so may the Lord bless you until next time you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God by dialing 605-781-3266 you can also search one one miracle radio or that way using your smartphone download the app one one digital media you'll be blessed 24 7 when you are blessed bless other people by sharing I also want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel of celebrate your moment if you have not done so if you have done so god bless you and let us continue encouraging each other in this journey and before i cross i want to remind you again of the book that i recently finished writing the title is fear not god is in charge you may ask me how can i get that book you can get it online you can get it through west bropress.com you can get it through amazon you can or in case you forget you can just google and just type fear not god is in charge it's so populate and you'll be able to know how to get it it's only costing $13.95 of course there's going to be shipping cost there is also the ebook you can get it and it's very cheap $3.99 may the lord bless you why fear not God is in charge? Because as we go through situation, God is not asleep. God is still in charge of your life through those moments that you go through. God bless you.